cookies. Came out here to make a pizza. Y'all gonna have to see this whole video coming up. This thing's sitting here running constant 4,484 watts and really overdrawing my cables at 430 amps, 5,000 to 300 watts burning through them. Kira hooked all this up. Y'all gotta see why. Gotta see how this all began. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, y'all probably saw some videos a long time ago of these two batteries. Well, it's cold. I went out to get the batteries, bring them in, and I made a deal with Kira. Um, I'll go get the batteries, unbolt them, bring them in, if you'll make a pizza. She said, sure. Okay. So, so what happened, Kira? Well, um, we were... What, wasn't there an inverter, a big Renogy sitting right here? Yeah. Y'all look, look, hold on. Look up here. I'll put the video to it. You'll see, you got to see the video. The thing's good. But, yeah, but wasn't, but, wasn't there? Yeah, but we already did a video on the Renity. I, I know. Um, question. Did you charge the batteries back up? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I got them charged. Okay. So um, I asked here. No, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so I said, we're going to take the LI time and we're going to put it outside. I want to check this. Um, okay. But. I want to check this. Does it really do the heating? The self-heating. Self-heating. So I went and got these batteries out so I could go put that one in. Now I come in here and I see, well, there's some onions and some whatever you got here. I didn't even look. Bacon, bacon bits, bits and some extra you know, cheese and a cheap there. and a cheap store pizza. Yeah. And I'm like, and there's the pizza thing. Watch out. Right there. She cooks pizza and cookies and fish sticks and french fries. She cooks all kinds of crap. So electrically, because the sun comes in, the sun charges batteries and... And the daughter does the rest. Okay. Um, well, I went upstairs in storage. You bought this a long time ago. You let a girl completely control your shop. And this is what you get. Well, I went upstairs. He picked up his inverter. And I went upstairs because you never used this one before. And you bought it a while. Well, you used it once. Once. But you bought All it. All right, so let, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And it was uh, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. I want to show them what I just had to deal with. So hold on. Um, you upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, take it. Take it. Okay. Take it. Take it. <laughs> hmm. This is a little family story time, guys. All right, so I go out to the Chevrolet pickup, and I take these two batteries out because they're not going to charge. It's cold, and there's 400 watts of solar on it. And I come in here, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab this one. And, and then I come in here. And, <laughs> and then here comes Kara. <laughs> so the Renogy, which is all hooked up, all done, ready to go. Which meant pizza should have already been done. Done. <laughs> ha. Huh. You're the you're the one who let it sit there. I had to put I had to take the dust off of it. All right. So batteries are in, that'll go out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be hooking up. No, I'm not. When Kira gets the inverter hooked up. We're going to have a pizza. pizza. We're going to have a an Ubitech 5,000 watt inverter. Was it because I'm making a lot of videos? Yeah. yeah. You just think I was going to do I think it. You, I think you should make a video on this one because you've, you've had it for so long. I know. All right, guys. We just did a 4,000 watt one and that one's gone. And we have a Renogy and he, that one's gone or will be gone i guess if his wife whoever was supposed to come yeah, get it. Gonna pick it up yeah uh you got it boxed yeah okay it's boxed. all right and now this one's my personal one that was just going to be a spare all right we'll be right back here we go thanks kira yep <laughs> all right kira come got me and she says it's yeah. Yeah, already. already. It's already. Yeah. She's in her, her deep Texasness. Her she, <laughs> it's already. I'm like, okay, well, let's go check it out. So I see you get your pizza on there. Yep. And looking good. And 
what's all this power strip hooked up to okay good heavy good heavy for those because they got a big surge right yeah. And you got... It's pretty much the stuff we used last time. Okay. And you hooked up the oscilloscope. Let's see here. Wide. Yep. Yeah, very good. All the way down. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And them two. Where are these two? All right. To that one. And this one here is by itself? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, how's your cables? No loose? Nope. I made sure they were tight. Use a wrench? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, how how'd you uh, how'd you charge that up? You know, did you test it or? I used the test. <gasps> well, <laughs> oh, oh, the old rule of nothing on top of anything. Yeah, I don't do that. Never. 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 <laughs> Damn. All right. So, if I power it up, it's not going to blow up in my hand, right? Not now, no. <laughs> now? Kara? Uh huh? Okay. Got to hold it in. I don't remember. It's been a while. I've installed 20 and 30 and... Okay, looks good. Okay. Where's your remote? I don't know. You didn't look for the remote up there? No, I didn't think it had one. It does. It has one plugged in here. It's uh, Wi-Fi. And then, uh, look, here, wait a minute. I don't remember exact. I'll put a picture. I'm going to put a picture right here. All right. So that's all the parts that come with these. And I'll put a picture of the item on Amazon where I got it at. Now, I did use a $220 credit to get this, so it was cheap. And that's why I got it. All right. That's, so I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find a remote for it. So it's up there somewhere. So, okay. Ovatec Pure Sign Wave Inverter. Now, these are the guys that have been making my Olympic power control right there, power inverter for 36 volt. So, if you want one 36 volt, they'll get you one. They'll make one. They're impressive. But they make it in all voltage. I don't care what you want. These are, I say mid upper grade, but they're built really well inside. They got really heavy parts in them, heavy, massive. See if you can see in there, massive heat sinks. I don't want to take this one apart. Um, I might do another video on it soon. I had no intention <laughs> of doing a video on it right now. Um, so let's 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 start. Uh, you're, you're hot here. Hold on. Yeah. Let's start in your hot here. Okay. Start powering your little heaters up. Okay. And while she's doing that, because I'm hungry, I'm going to turn this thing on. So it is. Oh, hell, needs to be plugged in. Hold on. You didn't plug this one in. Oops. Oh, because the little motor. I get you. Yeah. It's got a motor. It makes it spin. And there's your pepperonis. Good. You put them on last. Yeah, because they'll get scorched if I don't. Okay, so what, 12? 12, 12 minutes. A little over 12 or a little under? A little over. A little over? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. We got a little cheap pizza. And we're pulling. You we got all three of those on. on. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to turn that on. All right, there you go. And we're going to take a look at the, the uh, sine wave and the voltage. So it's saying right here, this is what it's saying right here. 2,556 watts current. So what do we got all running? We got, we got the little this, one here. These ones. We got all three of these. And we don't have this on yet. Okay, well, we'll turn it on. Yeah. Did you got it on the, okay, good. You started yeah, it on that. an additional 800 watts if we turn this one on. We'll turn that one on. Turn it on 800. Ooh, click. That was heavy. All right. So, ooh, that was heavy. <laughs> 3,500, 3,600. 3,680. Okay, very good. How many amps are we pulling right now? So we are pulling 340 plus amps, 4,200. Oh, 42, let's say 4280. And, oh, I wish I would have tested this earlier. Look at that. Okay, 43, there we go. And 37. That's pretty damn good efficiency, too. They are building the other set. They're building them a lot better. Okay, you know what? Is that that's, needs one more switch to go to high. Right over there. Go put that on high. 
there we go so that ought to send her on up through the ceiling <laughs> all right so we're at four thousand four hundred it's getting very warm <laughs> it's getting very warm in here hey the pizza will cook faster because you got one two three four 400, 400, 400, 200. I, I, I make a mistake. Keep calling this a 250 because I had a red one. It was 200. So we got here. Four, four, yeah, four. just grab grab the heaters. 1400. And it showed the battery. Hold on. Oh. Low voltage. So what do we got over here? It over pulled. Oh, there it is. Back on action. So one of the BMSs is defaulted. So let's see what we got here. It's over. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Who hot underrated on the cable all right so it's proven to itself that it can pull a lot of power <laughs> now we're getting back up over here so i overdone the bms's that's not cool all right is this one running oh that's warm that is hot that is hot i'm under cabled my fault all right so what did we peek out at here i'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and then you're going to hit that one over there on full power. Okay. And then we'll get a, a max amp reading over here. And we're going to see what and why it overdid itself. Okay? okay. So be ready. All right. 3,400. Sorry. So I think I'm over amped. These two gauge cables only handle 400. So, all right. You ready? Do it. Oh, yeah. We're over amped. See, that's... 418 so the resistance level of the cable jumped through the roof right there okay that's holding it now i guess the fan's blowing on them all right we have 5,152 watts going into the system so it's obvious you need new cable or more cables or i need better cables i need some one aught on this thing so we're pulling 4,000, basically 4,500 watts. I didn't buy it to expect anything more than that. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and turn that one back down on one, one, one lower so we don't continually overtax it. And I think that the, uh, it did it again. Look at it. What did I do wrong? There we go. All right. I, I, I didn't click it all the way down, so so I'm overtaxing. My bad. That's this thing beeping, and it's this not... th and this thing. Be See, it's showing the, the battery power. Yeah. It's not sufficient. Uh -huh. See that? It's pulling so hard. Let me check over here. There it goes. Kara, uh -huh. this is my fault. I didn't put you heavy enough cables on it. Yeah. Dad did this. But we just seen it go 4,500 with <laughs> undersized cables. I think this thing actually can do its job. Well, okay. this was an interesting prospect. Figured I'd give you little guys a rundown of the Ubi Tech. It does have a set of terminals in the front. They don't look like they're more for, I guess, probably a 12 gauge or maybe 10 gauge. You'd probably go good in that. And internally wiring so far, every one of these I've worked on, they're heavy. heavy capable and the price was just right and you know what it's because kira said that's pretty she liked the color it is pretty it is pretty so voltage wise very stable it's still got good voltage on it good hertz so and running a constant 3800 watts and like i've said in other videos don't don't go buy a don't don't go buy a 3000 watt to run a 3000 watt load don't go buy a 5,000 watt to run a 5,000 watt load. Okay, if I wanted to run a 5,000 watt load, I'd get a 6,000 at least. And, and we it, do have one. And we do have one for that purpose. So this does exactly what I wanted to do. It'd cover a 4,000 watt load when needed. And the money, it's a good product. And it's going to make pizza. And, and it's currently making pizza. See, it's glowing up in there, making a pizza, and it's actually got a... I don't know if y'all know how these work. It's got an element just like it, top and bottom, under the pan, one on top. So, yeah. All right, Kara, did the UbiTech do its Ubi job? It did its job. All right. Well, that was a uh, like a hundred and thirty-one dollars 
my pocket. Yeah. And it's because in case I have to ever replace this, I have a backup. And that's the whole reason. It wasn't, yeah, exactly. this wasn't to be doing videos on. Yeah, I, I, thought it was I a knew good idea. because of the brand that it would work. I didn't decide to ever do this kind of test on it because I didn't need to. But you guys got to see it. Yeah. Y'all got to see it. Y'all got to see it pull more amperage than the wire allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. You're, well, um, if you have any important questions or want to support our cause, you can go down to the Ko-Fi. Correct. Yep. And also, I got cookies in the oven that I need to be pulling out. But like and subscribe, and we can make more videos just like this, and y'all be good. That's it. Y'all be good. <laughs> we need pizza. Pizza time. <laughs> Oh,